Construction could start in a few weeks on the southern end of the Keystone XL pipeline. The pipeline will be used to deliver oil from Cushing to refineries in the Gulf of Mexico. Meanwhile, the company building the pipeline isn't giving up on its northern portion. News reporter Brandon Richard has more from Cushing. In January, the Obama administration rejected the proposed Keystone XL pipeline, which would have been used to transport oil from western Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. The administration claims it needed more time to study the issue, but critics accuse the president of caving to liberal environmentalists. The president did, however, come out in favor of the southern portion of the pipeline, which will ship oil from Cushing to refineries in southeast Texas. There's a bottleneck right here because we can't get enough of the oil to our refineries fast enough. The southern portion did not need the president's approval, but lending his support helps cut through bureaucratic red tape, thereby speeding up the project. When the president visited Cushing in March, he said the pipeline would mean jobs for Oklahomans. Not only are we going to see jobs and growth and success here in Cushing, Oklahoma, we're going to see it all across the country. Residents we spoke to today in Cushing are looking forward to the pipeline. It's works all around. It brings people to town to spend money in the local businesses, stay in the new, new motels we got in town, and stay at the restaurants. I actually think it's a good idea. It's going to give us jobs here in Cushing uh, and, you know, around the area. Um, drive the oil prices down. According to TransCanada, the company building the pipeline, construction on the southern portion could begin as soon as June and wrap up in early 2015. Meanwhile, TransCanada hopes changing the route of its proposed northern pipeline will dampen the political firestorm, causing the government to approve their new application. Reporting in Cushing, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you. Because the northern portion of the pipeline crosses the U.S. border from Canada, the State Department will decide whether to issue a permit. That decision likely won't be made until next year.